first. Hi, you two friends and family. You interrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hi, YouTube friends and family. Um, RV Ashes in April challenged us to the 10 question quarantine. Is that how that goes? I think so. Okay. I think we said it wrong, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Y'all know what I mean. All right. So, first question How many rolls of toilet paper do we have? We have 31. He has no idea. You no, know, I had an idea because she, we had to take for two because our... Uh, take one didn't work well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason that we have 31 rolls is because we're in West Yellowstone. There's not very many stores here. It's an hour and a half to get to Walmart. Before we got here in Idaho Falls, we stocked up on everything we could think of, including toilet paper. The biggest change since the quarantine for us. I don't remember what take one was. So we, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest change for us was we did six weeks of boondocking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Never done Due that before. Due to unemployment. <laughs> yeah, unemployment. Due so, to coronavirus. We actually lost our jobs on March 14th, working in spring training. Actually, I think our last day was the 18th. Okay, March 18th, four days. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Mr. No, the, Technical. Well, the four days was cleaning up. Still out of work. And today is, what's today? May, May 9th. May 9th. Okay. So we're still unemployed. Um, but the boondocking was a great experience for us. Yeah, we never would have went six weeks boondocking in the past. So you got to figure we spent, for six weeks, we spent no money on campgrounds, no money on dump stations. That's a good thing because we didn't have the money to spend. Since right. we're out of, you know, we are work campers, so that's how we make our income. We don't have any other income, so work camping is it. That's it for us. All right, so number three. Where are you parked right now? Right now we're in uh, West Yellowstone, right behind the IMAX Theater and gift shop, where we're going to be working, supposedly, hopefully, starting June 1st. And we know a lot of people, when all of this started, they headed home um, to wherever home is for them. Home would have possibly been for us Florida or North Carolina. Um, we kind of thought, you know, we're unemployed. Uh, we probably won't be working until June or July. And to tra start traveling back to North Carolina or Florida was going to be an expense. And then having to turn around and come back here to Yellowstone. We would so, have came back if we yeah, had to. That's um, where we're parked right now, waiting for our work to start. Actually, we start working at the grocery store. We got a job at the little grocery store just two blocks away from here. We can walk. Yep. Or ride our bike. Yep. Uh, as a part-time just to get us by. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. We both got hired. Yeah. Awesome. And we're not going to be really front line. He's going to be working stocking dairy and produce. And I will be doing deli and bakery. So we're good with that. Um, so since all this started, what have you gone without? Money. <laughs> <laughs> Money. That's our biggest thing we've gone without. Uh -huh. um, we've actually had to dig into our savings, which we really didn't want to do. No, that's what's there for. It's an emergency fund, but we'd rather not have the emergency. And we went without hookups, which oh, honestly yeah. we found out wasn't so bad. I mean, between our generator and our solar panels, thanks Bubba and Kat from Tipsy Marlin Travels. Um, that really has really been a huge um, bonus for us. Yeah, we got that? the uh, solar panel from them. Um, we have a generator, which we can link a video over here um, about our generator that we have. But the solar panel, I mean, that got us through all day long. And then we ran our generator maybe a couple hours at night. Yep. So it worked out really well for us. Yeah. And we're really glad. I mean, like, I think we said this before, but we we're really glad for that opportunity. Now we know we can go that long or longer right. without we can, hookups. We can boondock in one spot for about six days. At least. At least. Uh, probably like eight at the most. Yeah. yeah. What was our average? About six. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Our next question. What are we most thankful for? We're thankful for each other. Yeah, I mean, not only do we love each other, have loved each other for over 35 Aww, years. You're so sweet. 
we like each other and we like each other's company. We have so, a good time together. Yeah. And our health and yeah. of course our family's health. Um, most of them have been able to stay employed. At least um, one member of the family has remained employed, which has been a true blessing for them. Yep. So we're happy for that. What do we miss most? Well, we miss our family with or without the virus going on. Yeah. But I miss them most because I think, you know, like my daughter, she's a school teacher. She's out of work. And um, her two kids, they're at home. And, oh, my gosh, what I wouldn't do to be there in their driveway parked and be able to spend time with them. Or my son and his wife. My son is not working, but his wife is right now. Um, you know, and their three kids. I would love to be able to be there. And then my daughter, um, our daughter, Angela, um, you know, she's kind of part-time working. She has her own business. And, yeah, it would be awesome to be able to be down there and, and spend time with my granddaughters and watch them while she went to work. But unfortunately, we had to continue doing what we're doing. We did get to see them in December and January, and we'll again see them at the end of the year. And what's the other thing that you miss the most, Chris? Well, family, but yeah. I also miss going to breweries. <laughs> That's one of our things, you know, uh, exploring different areas and going to a brewery in a new town, um, and checking out their beers. We're kind of brew snobs. We love breweries. Yeah, and we love beer. Yeah. So, we miss that as well. Uh, we did though, when we were uh, boondocking, we actually stayed the night at the Clean Museum, which is the Harvest Host location, but they were closed. What time but was we that? stopped there anyway. That was in. Um, I always ask the toughest questions. I can't remember. It was in Idaho. Yeah, it was in Idaho. Look up the Clean Museum. It's okay. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but they, they had a brewery just a couple of blocks away that we walked to and we were able to go in and get a couple of growlers filled with uh, some beer that we liked there. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. And we had pizza that night. That was the first time we'd eaten out in months. Yeah. Or we didn't even actually eat out. We ordered food. Yeah, we and went and walked and picked it up. Yeah, so that was like that was like three months since we had pizza. Yeah. Okay, so question number seven. How long since we've been to a campsite? It depends on what your definition of a campsite is. Well, we're in a campsite right now. Well, that's true. It but might we be just empty. got here a couple of days ago. Yeah. It's an empty campsite. Yeah, it's an camp, empty campground. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an empty campsite because we're here. Right. But we did do six weeks of boondocking. <laughs> yeah, so if you think that a campsite is a campground, then uh, we haven't been, until we got here, we haven't been in one since March 23rd. If you consider any place camping, then we've always been in a campsite. Right. Well, when we were boondocking. What yeah. don't you like about boondocking? I love it. Um, well, I just got to finagle with the solar panel and the uh, generator. Make sure we have power and this and that. And I got to go up in the middle of the night, turn the inverter off. Middle of the night. Sometimes. Well, before we go to bed. Not often. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, it's not that bad. It's well worth not having to pay for a campground. All yeah. It so outweighs that. Yeah. It would have been a lot easier to find some of these sites, though, if uh, there wasn't a shutdown in that. In normal circumstances, it would have been a little bit easier. I mean, we did get kicked out of one space, one place, um, Crystal Geyser. That yeah. was in Utah. They didn't want any camping in their county, yeah. so we had to pack up and leave. So in order to leave, we had to get more gas and yada yada. It just didn't make any sense to kick us out of a spot where we were for four days. 
Yeah, we had already been there for four days. And they came and kicked us out. And we we planned on staying a couple more nights. And I even asked the officer, the sheriff deputy, if we could just go ahead and stay one more night and leave in the morning. Nope. Since it was already 3.30 in the afternoon. And nope, we had to leave right then. Yep. So, so. and that's a whole other story. But I don't know if we have any footage of it because it was not a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> we got stuck on a dirt road and Chris had to make a really, really tight U-turn. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Another story. All right. So number eight. Chris, this is for you. What's your favorite quarantine food? Oh, I get to talk about this again. <laughs> <laughs> this is like take three. Let me start it off. Barbara likes to cook and she's very good at it. She has her little Instapot and her Ninja Foodie, and she does, cooks great food. I love eating her food, so I love anything that she makes. Um, she does a very good job at it. So, just the other day, though, she made some. I like one of my favorite foods that she makes is spaghetti with meat sauce, and she made that. Um, the uh, and then yesterday she made pastrami and the Ninja Foodie, and that was awesome. So, I mean, I, I like. I like anything she makes. I'm happy. And you have to remember, it. we are six weeks of boondocking, so I wasn't able to use a foodie a whole lot. Oh, that's true. So we kind of we used to did, grill a lot. Yeah, we did easier meals. So now that we're parked and we can use the ninja, I'm making more. Like right now, I have um, some shoulder roast in the in the crock pot. I'm making some pulled pork. Yeah, but like yeah. I said, I'm happy with most of anything she makes. You're so nice. And I like to eat, can't you tell? We both like to eat. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so then it brings us to, to the next question. What are we doing for exercise to get rid of all that food? Well, we love to hike. As you, If you watch our videos, you can tell. I'll put a little post at uh, some of our hikes here. I think one was Sedona with Devil's Bridge was a pretty cool one that we went on recently. But also to the ones that were around our um, boondocking spot in Page, Arizona. They were awesome. And then we went yesterday to another cool hike up at um, Witz Lake Spring, 20 minutes here, from, about 20 minutes from West Yellowstone. Yeah, so, and we riding like to, our bike. Riding our bikes, we like to do that. We washed the RV today. So, even though we haven't been working, which that's where we get a lot of our exercise, uh, we find a way to get some question exercise. Question is, who are we gonna tag? We're already on question 10? Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our first tag is going to be um, Cat and Bubba of Tipsy Marlin Travels. Yep. We met them uh, a few years ago up in Mackinac Mill Creek Campground where we were, were campers there together. Put a link? Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, we'll put a link to our playlist of all of our work camping jobs we've done so far. Tipsy Marlin Travels. And our next one would be TJ and Bree from Racing Detours. Yeah. We met them up in South Dakota at the winery where we were working. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got to have a bite to eat and uh, some drinks with them. And uh, very nice people as yeah. well. If you haven't watched any of these channels, please uh, look them up, see if there's something you're interested in. And the next one would be RV SWAT, Tracy and Johnny. Yeah, um, uh, we met them in Louisiana. Uh, and then the last time we saw them was at uh, um, Bowling Travel Centers where they were working. Um, next one would be Christine and John. We met them at Amazon Traveling Deficit Disorder. Yeah. Um, very nice couple as well. They're doing uh, gate guarding. I think the last time I talked to them they were waiting on another gate or gate guards. But they have a goal and they are determined to reach that goal. Yeah. Good for them. And then two uh, people that we've not met um, but we've started watching their channel is um, Life. I can't read my own writing. Life Rerouted. There we go. Life Rerouted. Yeah, new channel we started following. Seems like we've been to some of the same places. Same places. Same places. And then Wandering Wiley. Yep, he likes to do some hiking in that, which we like. Yeah. So, guys, um, we just want to say thank you guys so much for watching our channel. If you could take a few seconds and like our our video subscribe if you want to leave some comments so yeah guys thank you so much for watching we really appreciate it hope everybody out there is staying safe healthy and you know just keep on keeping on yeah take next care time bye, bye.